In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn an Android tablet into a wireless Android Auto car head unit display. If your car doesn't have a built-in Android Auto screen, this is a great affordable solution to add that functionality. For this installation, I've chosen the Ocatel 028 Android 13 tablet, which comes with some nice car related features. It has a lightweight and thin design that not only looks great, but also makes it easier to magnetically mount it to my car interior. It comes in three colors, green, purple, and this color gray, which blends in easily with my car's interior. If you're looking to use its built-in audio, it has a very loud quad speaker system for a wide and rich soundscape in the car. However, for a better sound experience in the car, you can use your car speakers by simply using either its 3.5 headphone port for wired auxiliary audio connection, or if your car stereo system has Bluetooth audio support, the OT8 supports Bluetooth 5.0 for a fast connection and quality digital audio output to your car's Bluetooth stereo. You can rely on its built-in 8,800 mAh battery to last even the longest of drives. And paired with a 12 volt USB-C adapter, you can supply constant charge to the tablet for uninterrupted power whilst it's being used or stationary whilst watching movies or on the move using Android Auto. With accurate quad navigation systems, this tablet doesn't have to lean on your phone for navigation in Android Auto as it can run specific location-based apps directly to the tablet itself. And when it comes to data, you can use the built-in dual mobile data SIM card support for providing the tablet full internet access for streaming movies and games on the tablet, or simply use your connected Android phone data with apps within Android Auto. And finally, a fast octa-core processor maintains a good level of performance and entertainment on the OT8, allowing you to play games, watch movies, and multitask between apps and Android Auto with ease. It's 11 inch 2K resolution display brings a level of richness and quality to your car's interior, matched with the elegant aesthetics of its exterior case design. Mounting the OT8 in your car interior will truly increase your car's infotainment system to the next level, and without breaking the budget, or put a sweat on from a challenging new stereo install. First, you need to get your Android tablet connected to the internet. You can do this by connecting to your home Wi-Fi network, using a data SIM card, or tethering an internet connection from your Android phone. Next, make sure your Android phone has the latest version of Android Auto app installed. Then download the Head Unit Reloaded emulator app onto your tablet. You will need this premium app as it will allow you to run Android Auto on the tablet's display. If you want to connect wirelessly, you'll also need to download the free Wi-Fi Launcher app onto your phone. To set up wired Android Auto, first launch the Head Unit Reloaded app on the tablet, then use a USB data cable to connect your Android phone to the tablet. After a few seconds, Android Auto should appear on the tablet's display. However, you may need to unlock your phone and confirm the connection on both devices. For wireless Android Auto, you first start by turning on the Wi-Fi hotspot feature on the tablet, then give it a name and password that you'll remember. Next, launch the head unit reloaded app on the tablet and let it sit on the main menu. Over on your Android phone, connect to the tablet's Wi-Fi hotspot using the password you previously set, and then open the Wi-Fi launcher app on your Android phone and make sure it has all the necessary permissions granted. Once you've done this, then tap on the Start Wi-Fi Service Manually option, and within a few seconds, your phone should now be wirelessly connected to the tablet, allowing you to use Android Auto apps on the larger tablet display. Once you've got your Android tablet running Android Auto in your car, there are a few ways to get audio from the tablet into your car's sound system. The easiest is to use the tablet's built-in speakers, but for a much better sound quality, you can connect the tablet to your car's auxiliary input using a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And if your car has one, you can alternatively pair the tablet to your car's Bluetooth audio system. This will give you a high quality wireless audio connection. If your car doesn't have an auxiliary or Bluetooth, you can use a Bluetooth to FM transmitter, which will allow you to broadcast the audio from your tablet to an open FM frequency on your car radio. With Android Auto on the tablet and output audio covered in your car, the next step is to mount the tablet in your car interior. To mount the tablet in your car, first decide on the best location. Somewhere near the center of the dashboard, within easy reach, is usually ideal. Look at the surfaces around the area to determine what type of mount you'll need, whether it's an air vent mount, dashboard mount, or windshield mount. For a clean, modern look, I recommend using a magnetic or MagSafe compatible mount. Once you've installed the mount, simply attach the tablet and route any necessary cables for audio and power. To keep the tablet powered during use, plug in the included charging cable into a 12 volt USB adapter in your car. 
make sure that the adapter can provide at least 18 watts of power and this should significantly allow continued power whilst it's being used in the car. And that's it. You now have a fully functional Android Auto head unit in your car powered by a simple Android tablet. This is a great way to add a large high quality display to your vehicle's infotainment system without doing a complex and expensive installation. It is a great alternative to the more dedicated car displays that you see selling today. It would offer a much more native experience and extra functionality such as using specific video apps without video sync issues and audio lag. And the best thing is, because it's a tablet, you can take it off from your car interior, take it in the home and use it as a normal tablet there too. There are a few security issues that you might want to consider and I go over that in my full step-by-step -step guide on my website. So do check out the link down below to have a full step-by-step -step guide on how to do this process. Its link is in the description down below. Give it a try and let me know how it works for you. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you found this guide helpful. If it has, give us a thumbs up. Please do consider sharing it with anyone that might be considering of doing the same installation. You can support the channel by sending us a super thanks on YouTube or buying me a coffee using the link down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.